Hello everyone, this is Marianne with Songs of Inspiration. I can't thank God enough for the beautiful, 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 beautiful day He has given us. I thank Him for a beautiful day off. I know there's a time for winter, a time for spring, a time for summer. And you thank God for each day, you know? Sometimes we all go through things and we think, well, this, um, this this thing I'm going through or that thing I'm going through is worse than the other. But you know what? When you realize that Jesus died on the cross for all of your sins and you receive him in your heart and life, that's when you really can enjoy life and really be thankful for every blessing that you have. And then we can realize that things we're going through are temporal compared to the blessings in him. You know, hell is not a place that God ever intended for his people to go to. And we don't have to if we decide that we want to make Jesus Savior and Lord in our lives and of our lives. Hell is a place the Bible talks about that is forever tormented, burning forever and ever and ever. Sometimes people think, it's hot outside, or they think it's hotter than the actual hell. But the Bible says that hell is a place where there's continual burning. That's not God's will for us. He has life for us and life everlasting. But the price to pay for being away from God is with the devil. And one thing that I have found out and that I'm finding out in my life is the devil tries to portray the picture that riches and glory and honor according to man or everything we need and he tries to portray the picture that if you got a lot of money and fame and power then that's the answer and he even tried to tempt Jesus with all that but the Bible says that Jesus is our happiness he's our joy and if we trust Jesus and seek God's kingdom, God's way of doing things, God's right way, righteousness in God, right standing with God, then all the other things will line up. But if we try to get all these things outside of God, then we're not lining up with God. And um, <clears throat> I used to think, oh, I don't want to go to hell, so I want to serve God. But you know, you can't serve God out of fear. I mean, we shouldn't fear being away from God because the opposite of being away from God is eternal damnation and that's not God's will. And Satan wants to kill, steal, and destroy in John 10.10 10, and Jesus came to bring us life in that same verse, John 10.10. 10. So we should choose Jesus because he loves us and he paid an awesome price for us. If you choose the devil, there's no hope. And so Think about it each day and just know that every day is a new beginning with Jesus. And I never thought that there was hope for me, but I realized so much more and more that Jesus is my hope. And like I said before, my testimony being from rejection to acceptance, I'm so thankful that Jesus had a purpose for me and that he still has a purpose for me. And that even though there's times when things are challenging, he's still with me and he cares. And I just want to let you know that he loves you so much. You know, all these songs that I write in the past four years, God has blessed me to write over 3,000 songs. Some of them are for me, but most of them are for other people. And I'm so thankful for that. And so I just want you to know that you can have a great day in the name of Jesus. You can have a great night in the name of Jesus. You can have a great life in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we all go through things. Sometimes I go through pain. But it doesn't mean that I always will. And sometimes I go through happy times and sad times. But I'm thankful to be alive. And so... <clears throat> Just know that you're blessed if you're allowed to wake up this morning. Think about it. 
Why am I here? Surely God has a purpose for me. Every day is a new beginning. Every day is a day to be thankful. Every day is a day to praise God. Every day is a day to make a difference. You see, sometimes we think, I don't have this talent. I don't have that talent. What am I going to do? What am I here for? We all have some gift that God has given us. We all have talents. You know, one person can make a difference. If God can use me, and I'm 47, I'm not too old. He can still use us no matter what age we are. If God can use me, and I'm 47, to touch lives all over Des Moines right now with these songs of inspiration, and one of my dreams is to touch people's lives all over the world, He can use you too. Think of one good thing you can do, and do the very best you can. Use your gifts for God. Make a difference. Let that dash in your life be important from the time you're born till the time you leave this earth. Because you know, the real us is the spirit. When your body dies, you're not dead. You'll either be in heaven or you'll be in hell. And the prayer is that we receive Christ and so our spirits can be with God in heaven. But if not, there's another place that I don't wish on anyone. I don't wish on anyone that has hurt me. I don't wish that on anyone in the world. I just pray that all, like God's word says, will come to repentance. Because it's not God's will that any perish. That all shall be live forever. And so, think about that. And just know that Jesus loves you. Let's sing this little song that we all know. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. So in times when we feel like we're weak, in times when we feel like we can't go on, remember Jesus is the answer, and he'll make us strong. I am happy in Jesus, happy as indeed. I am happy in Jesus. He lives inside of me. Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my King. I am happy in Jesus. Happy as indeed. Jesus. When I say his name, Jesus. I feel good inside, Jesus, when I'm saying it for the right reasons, Jesus. Just say it with me, Jesus, and let his peace come over you, Jesus. Thank you for loving us, Jesus. I know sometimes you guys are used to me being hyper and singing funny songs and singing encouraging songs and stuff like that but there's a time to relax a time to just reflect a time to be thankful and a time to just say Jesus thank you Jesus for your love thank you Jesus for loving me when no one else seemed to love me or when I couldn't feel anyone's true love but there's no one on this earth and nothing on this earth that can take your place. I love you, Jesus. Goodbye for now.